especially in the Linux world, but even just the FOSS world or the general programming world, the name Linus Torvalds is known by most, if not all, people. And while Linux is really small on the desktop side, maybe only like at most 5%, if you want to be generous, maybe like 8 but a really small number, it is really, really important for the state of modern computing, being the basis for basically every web server out there. Sure, things like Windows Server exist, but most people are running some form of Linux, and this is only going to grow as the cloud continues to grow as well. It is the basis for things like Android, and until Google wants to put all their money into Fuchsia, Chrome OS is going to be based on Linux. And then there is Git, which if I had to guess, is responsible for maybe at least 95% of source code management, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was higher. But outside of these spaces, who do regular people think about when they think about the state of computing? If they think about the web, they're probably going to think about names like Jack Dorsey and Mark Zuckerberg. If they're thinking about computing, it's probably going to be people like Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. Generally, you'll hear literally no mention of Linus Torvalds. And I'm not here to argue who is the most important person out of this group. You could probably argue it is Linus Torvalds, but that's not the point of today's video. You'd hope that someone so influential and so important to the state of modern computing, literally the backbone for most of the web, would be at least somewhat more well known. And the other day, there was a pretty popular post over on r slash Linux asking exactly this question. Why is it that Linus Torvalds isn't really well known? He is one of the major people who changed the state of computing. And while all of the comments here basically said the exact same thing, a lot of them were actually pretty, I guess, insightful. So I'm gonna go over some of those main reasons why that might be the case. While pretty much everything you're doing with your systems is connecting to Linux in some way, whether it's the website you're going on or the fact that you have an Android phone, the way it's marketed to the everyday user doesn't really make that clear. Think with Android, for example. When it's Android Mobile or Android Auto, it doesn't really matter, and a new version comes out, is the fact that it's based on X kernel version ever mentioned, or it has this X kernel feature, or that Linux feature, or that feature, or that feature, it's never really mentioned in the context of it being from Linux. Android is sort of talked about as this separate product that you might hear every so often, hey, Android is based on Linux, but it's not really a key focus in anything about Android. Even if you're a fairly technical user, I doubt you could tell me what version of kernel your phone is actually running. I know that I have absolutely no idea. And the exact same is true over on Chrome OS as well. Now, Chrome OS, you can access the terminal and you can do some things through the Gen 2 base, but that's not really something the user is ever intended to do. And the same is sort of true with the web as well. Most people out there have no idea how a website even works. They have no idea what a server is, what the server is running. The fact that a server is really no different from a desktop. It's just in a different sized case. And they definitely don't know what's actually running on the server. And I'm not saying they need to go out of their way to find out. It's not going to change their life in any way. But when this sort of marketing is done, Linux is never a part of the equation. It's also important to consider how publicly facing Linus actually is. While things like the Linux Foundation exist to fund the kernel development, it's not like Linus is the face or the CEO of a massive multi-billion dollar company. He's not going around hosting like worldwide developer conferences, speaking in front of hundreds of thousands of people. Maybe sometimes he'll go to a conference here and there and talk on stage, but it's going to be a fairly, you know, small and close-knit thing. Both Linux and Linus basically, I guess, live in the shadows. They get their work done, they don't really make a big deal about it, and that's sort of just how it goes. Even today, with how incredibly important the Linux kernel is, Linus is still just a maintainer and just a developer, and that's not a bad thing. It probably keeps him grounded to Earth with how important this project is. I'm sure if he really wanted to, he could go around holding speaking tours, explaining why your next computer should be a Linux computer, but it doesn't seem like he really seeks to live in the limelight. But for Jobs and Gates, they also have something that Linus is probably never going to have. And it's not the fact they're both billionaires or for Jobs was a billionaire when he was alive. It's the fact that Jobs and Gates were fundamental in bringing computers 
to the average everyday man. And a very similar thing happened in the automobile space. You probably can't name a lot of the really important names in the creation of that industry. Who invented the car, who made this engine, who made that part, so on and so forth. But you do know the name Henry Ford. Because what Henry Ford did with the Model T is revolutionized the way the car was manufactured and brought them down to a point where average people could actually afford to buy one. And unlike all of those other people who are probably really, really important, this is a really user-facing change, and it's something the average person is going to hear about. And that's a really important point. Most of what Linus is known for isn't really that user-facing. The Linux kernel, which is the backbone of the operating system, I guess at this point Linux is now the name of the whole OS, but it's still a really small OS. Then there's Git, which is strictly for developers, and obviously the developers know who he is, but if you don't use Git, you probably never heard the name before. And maybe if you're a scuba diver, you have heard the name Linus Torvald because he actually made an open source scuba tool called Subsurface, but scuba isn't exactly the biggest hobby in the world. And there's one important aspect you can't forget about, the money aspect. Linus Torvald is without a doubt richer than you and I. Maybe one of you guys is like an oil baron, in which case, sure, you're probably richer. But for the regular people watching this channel, Torvald probably has far more money. He probably never has to worry about money again for the rest of his life. But he's not Jobs or Gates level of rich. And when you are, you know, an actual billionaire, there is a certain level of celebrity that comes with that as well. Especially in Gates's case when you go around just buying all of the farms and become the largest agricultural holder in the entire world. Just being that by itself already puts you on the map. But in the end though, it's sort of the same as a lot of the early computing pioneers. Whether it's, you know, Steve Wozniak, Dennis Ritchie, Ken Thompson, Alan Turing, Leslie Lamport, Ada Lovelace, Charles Babbage, which I'm sure that most of you guys recognize those names. But outside of Steve Wozniak, most people have probably never heard any of them. But regardless of how important a lot of these people are, sadly, a lot of really important figures throughout history tend to just be forgotten to the sands of time. A couple of them do end up standing the test of time, but the vast majority are forgotten. Even think about just like early science, for example. You probably know about Einstein, but you can't really name many other people. And then really the only people who end up remembering them are the ones who dig deep into these subjects and can also usually appreciate their work as well. So even though most people don't know about them, at least the work they left behind is still going to be appreciated. But whether it's about Torvalds or any of these other figures, maybe you have your own theory about why no one remembers them. And if that's the case, let me know in the comment section down below. So if you like this video, remember to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.